drive the people out by stealing and recently to show us some of the Muslim our minds the shaitan have overcome us after Juma last week one person went outside stole something as accused steal from someone just around the corner right in front of the masjid close to the masjid bringing the police all over the masjid do we need this? Is this from our teaching of Islam? Going out there and stealing from people? Whether we wear thob or wear niqab, as some, as some do. So stealing, <coughs> cheating the people's money, gambling, robbing, all of these are taken of the people's wealth wrongly. And this is not from Islam. All because also of Al-Kabahir, Tabarruj al-Sufur, of the women who go out and uh, uh, wearing, not wearing correct Islam clothing, exposing themselves to others. Namina, carrying tales, these are the Kabahir, the noob, that the Muslim have to uh, be careful of, and also in Tinamar, we are a woman, she refuses her husband. A woman who refuses her husband call without a legitimate Sharia reason. So these are Kabahir Ikhwan. And these are the ways that Shaitan is used to attack us for us to fall in one of these. So if we fall into them, Babu Tawba, Maftur, Istighfar, Mawjud. So the Muslim have to employ these things of Tawbah what is Istighfar when we fall into these sins. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabihum bil ihsan ila yawmi bin amma abad. The fruit of the means of shaitan in getting to us after if he has failed in the three that were mentioned before the fourth is ja ilayka bis sagair he comes with, if he can't come with kabahir he comes with sagair with the uh, sagair he comes with the minor sins and the minor sins also the numerous so always seeking a way. Our minor sin he tells you is something small. It's just a small sin. You make wudu and it goes. Make salat and it goes. But when we start to add, add, add the small sin, then he tells us if you can get away with the small, then why not try the kabair? And then we start to go down that path. Start one at a time. Something small, then move to the greater ones. So the next, the fourth in line, is with the small sins. And of those small sins, what he intends to do is to take away our hasanat. Or our darajat, al-alif jannah, yankus. Then it is decreased. So this is of the ways of the shaitan. <coughs> so of those ulama mentioned of the sagayr al gunub Sharaw al bayf al-masjid, buying and selling the masjid. Buying and the selling inside the masjid. Also, the person who wastes his wealth, he spends his wealth wrongly. Also, a life of salah, the person who plays about in his salah. Also, of this one, <coughs> also, a man, Hajar Akhahu, a Muslim. The person who abandons his brother, who leaves away his brother for more than three days for something that is dunyawiyya, which is now common among some. So these are, these are the kabar al Also, Julus, Mal Ali Fusak, Wal Ali Al Ghiba, Wal Namima, sitting in the presence of the people who attack others. And from the ulama discuss, 
What else Gabar al-Sagahir and some worse of the Kabahir that we need to mention from the major sin? Atan fil ulama wa talabutu al-ilm. That have become widespread. Atan wa waqia fil ulama wa talabutu al-ilm wa al-umara. The person who attack, sick in majalis, to attack the ulama and to attack the tulab al-ilm and to attack the umara of the muslimin. These are Gabar al-Zunub. And the Sagaire, the person who sits also in these sittings and remains silent. The person who sits and listens to these things and remains silent. Also, the person who speaks while the Imam is giving the khutbah. That we find more, uh, more so with the Nisa, with the woman, that they speak during the khutbah. So this is the Sagaire Dhulub. Then on, so this is the fourth way of the shaitan, the fifth way of the shaitan, that he tries to attack the person, and yash, uh, wa yashgir al-nas, bi akal ajr min al-ala, that he busy the people with those things that are less degree in reward, over those that are of a greater degree of reward. So he busy you with things that are, you know, we're not going to use, we use it, the lesser action over the great action. He busy the person in carrying out, fulfilling the more lesser degree of action over the higher degree of action. And the Prophet I mentioned, Al Iman bid wa sabuna shuba. Alaha qawla la ilallah wa adnaha amakhdul adha ani tariq. Wal haya shuba min iman. So iman and the action of Islam are various degrees. The actions of Islam are various degrees and they are in ranks. Some of a higher level and some at a lower level. So knowing these actions and their degrees and their place. So giving priority. Knowing how to prioritize our actions and our objectives. So busy ourselves with removing something harmful from the path is of a lesser degree of Iman. But it's of Iman. But we leave away matters of Tawheed. We leave away methods of Tawheed which have the highest level. So busy in ourselves as we find some in Ramadan in fast. In Ramadan, fast with a high degree of action. But a higher degree, which is Salah, he doesn't pray. A higher degree than fasting is praying. But a person is fasting, but he's not praying. Never prayed. This is from the Talbis al-Iblis. This is from the deception of shaitan. This is from the deception of the shaitan. So prioritizing our action, knowing what is to be given a more deserving attention. <coughs> and the sixth and the final of those actions is the person is protected before the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from all of what we previously mentioned, al-shirk, wal-kufr, al-bidah, second, kabair, al-dhunub, sahahir, al-dhunub, not prioritizing action correctly, then he goes to the sixth, and which is the most difficult, and the most sometimes more difficult of a person, he uses any employee this region, which is, even giving up on Anbiya, was Sali or Anbiya, is he uses your family against you. Your family and your children and your friends and your neighbors, they become the test in putting difficulty to you. Use others to get to you. <coughs> As I mentioned, وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّمَا أَمْوَالَكُمْ وَأَوْلَادُكُمْ fitna. Allah SWT said, and know that surely your wealth and your children, that they are to you a fitna, that they are a test, that they are to you a test. So the person has to be able to can, with this test, still stay steadfast. Still stay steadfast, knowing that even they are your beloved ones, but still with the test that will come from them, one still doesn't succumb 
to these tests and fall in the wounds of shaitan. So these are the six ways that the shaitan, that he tries to get to the individual. <coughs> and we summarize them again, which is by way of shirk, wal kufr. Next, al bidah Third, kabair, major sin. Fourth, sagahir, small sins. Fifth, fifth, Sagahir. Fifth, not prioritizing our actions. Leaving away the major ones and stick to the small ones. And six, using our families and our loved ones, our neighbors against us. Wa akhbada wa alhamdulillah alameen wa akhimu salam.